53rd consecutive year, Ohrit is the cultural center of the country, the spiritual capital of Macedonia, the antique city with its magically blue lake, a city with a cultural history marked with values of the ancient civilization, the city of the first Slavic university in Europe, the city of Samuel's kingdom, and finally, the city that represents the whole Macedonian cultural and spiritual history. You will discover the city through the narrow and mysterious streets. Ohri Trut will satisfy your gastronomic expectations and the most beautiful sunset will make you fall in love again. The story began 54 years ago when Anna Lipsa Tofovic and her family were visiting Ohrid and admiring the acoustics in the St. Sophia Church. That was when they first had the idea of starting the Ohrid Summer Festival. The first concert was held 53 years ago. 53rd edition of the Ohrid Summer Festival, the largest festival in Macedonia, once again has confirmed the status of the most important cultural event in the country and the region. We started on July 12th. At the opening ceremony, we had Dmitry Vorovstovsky, Konstantin Arbelian, and the choir and orchestra of the Macedonian Opera and Ballet. It was a wonderful experience, a very nice concert, and it was a sign we'd have a wonderful festival this year. 40 days, connoisseurs of quality cultural life required more tickets for some of the festival nights. All the events were packed and we got great feedback. We achieved our ultimate goal. The audience was satisfied. Ohrit this summer has brought together the world's most popular musicians and offered unforgettable enjoyment for the audience. We are organizing more events to fill the antique theater with concerts from the Bond group, Robi Lagatos and the Viva Vox Choir. We successfully staged Christoph Penderecki, who is one of the greatest composers and conductors today. We were honored by his presence. We hung out a few days and we had the honor to hear how he conducts. This year the festival hosted the Orchestra of the Central Conservatory of China. The audience enjoyed the journey through ancient Chinese culture and music performed by the oldest Chinese instruments. Trust me, we were all stunned by the atmosphere of that evening. The combination of an enthusiastic audience and all the traditional instruments really showed that the Ored Summer Festival was no longer just a European festival, but a world festival. For the importance of the festival speaks the fact that since 1994, the festival is member of the European Festivals Association. A number of world-renewed musicians appeared on the festival scene. Over the past 53 years, we've also welcomed many internationally renowned artists. I can mention some of them, such as Ennio Morricone, Jesse Norman, Jose Carreras, Sara Chen, and Andrew Navarro. We've also had a great number of theatre performances presented here on our stage. All those big names that participated in the festival have made this event meaningful, important and respected in the world of music and theatre. We've had several musical events in the courtyard of St. Sophia and a theatrical premiere titled Rented Life by the Albanian Theatre Company. The most famous international festival of classical music and theater, this year has proven that music brings nations together. 